Hey guys, Chelsea here from Making Manzanita, and in today's video, we're gonna teach you how to build this wall-mounted barbecue utensil holder. So if you're looking for a great place to store your barbecue tools, this is the perfect solution for your backyard. So you wanna start by cutting the wood down to size. Uh, we have the free woodworking plans available just for you, so you can get all the cuts, uh, the cut list, and the dimensions of everything. So just head on down to the video description for a direct link to those. And then after you get your wood all cut, you can drill the pocket holes. And we are using the Craig 720 pocket hole jig for this. And you wanna be sure when you're drilling the pocket holes that the rough side of the cedar wood is facing out. So you wanna be drilling the pocket holes on the smooth side of the cedar. Next, you can assemble the box. And the box is pretty straightforward. All you really do here is just attach the top and the bottom to the side panels with pocket holes drilled in each corner. And then to keep the inside of the tool holder looking nice and clean, we positioned the pocket holes on the outside of the box and you can really barely see them once they're mounted up on the wall. The Craig uh, 90 degree corner clamps came really in handy for this step. So if you have some corner clamps, I would recommend using those. Next, you can attach the interior shelves to your box. All you really do here is just make sure the shelves are nice and level. Uh, take your tape measure and make a mark on where the shelves should sit on that side panel and then just attach them with the already drilled pocket holes and you're good to go. Next, you can move on to lightly sanding the entire structure. And we did this with an orbital sander and 150 grit sandpaper just to get some of the rough edges off of that cedar wood. Next, you can move on to the doors. And you can see here, we used pocket hole joinery to attach two pieces of cedar wood. And then we had to cut some smaller panels so that the doors made it all the way across the box and everything was nice and flush. And you can get the measurements for that in the woodworking plans. Next, you can seal everything up. Because this is cedar and it's going outdoors, we opted to just use boiled linseed oil and just brushed it on with an oil brush. All right, so here is how it's looking. We're gonna get it mounted up today. Let's see if I can open these if it's on the floor. Oh, I can't open it. There it is. Okay, so open these up. So this is how it'll be mounted on the house. And you can see down here is the little area for paper towels. And we have some shelves for spices or whatever. And then there'll be hooks here for the utensils. It looks pretty good. We still need to add some knobs to the front, um, but we're gonna get it hung up today. When it's time to mount your barbecue utensil holder up in your desired location, you can do this a few different ways. I'm gonna just show you how we did it. We were putting it on our brick exterior, so we used some block anchors and two and a half inch decking screws, and we attached those through two small mounting pieces that we just made out of leftover cedar wood and we just attached those, once we sealed them, we attached those to our exterior. Um, we started by just attaching one and then lifted the box up over that first piece and then made sure everything was nice and level before attaching the second kind of mounting piece to the exterior of our house. And then once those mounting pieces were attached to the exterior with the screws and the anchors, we placed that box on there and then we ended up nailing it from the very top of the box and with just a nail gun. And that uh, attached the box into the mounting pieces to the top from the top side so everything was nice and secure. All right, so we got it all hung up. What we ended up doing is putting some anchors into the brick exterior and then screwing these into the anchors and those fit right in to the top of the box there and then we hung it up on to those hangers and then we nailed it from the very top with it a nail gun into those wood slats so that's how we got it hung so now we still need to put the hooks on for the utensils and the knobs on the doors but then we'll be done that looks good i love um i love it so we decided to put it over here our grill is over here but we were originally gonna put it right here, but we realized it would be kind of hard to get into. The deck does not extend over there in the cabinet or behind the grill, and we would have to kind of figure out how to reach back there. So this is just gonna be a little easier to grab and access. Oh, and there is the paper towels. Those look good. 
Now for that paper towel holder, we used a 12 inch long half iron or half inch black iron pipe with a cap at the end. And then to attach it, we used um, M10 machine screws with a washer and lock nut for some extra stability. And then you just wanna cut off the excess with like a Dremel or a hacksaw. And for the piece that's gonna hold the um, utensils with hooks, we used two five inch long pieces of half inch black pipe and then attached them together with a coupling in the middle and then used two more flanges to connect it with the inside of the box. And we just used a uh, one inch drywall screws to connect it there to the inside of the box. So those screws don't go all the way through like the paper towel holder does with the lock nut and the washer. And we just added that extra stability to the paper towel holder because we thought people were gonna be kind of tugging on that paper towel holder when they got the paper towels off. Now for a last and final step, you can just attach your hardware to the front of the doors. And we just grabbed these at the hardware store and they're just some nice handles. So you can open the doors nice and easy. And that about wraps it up. This, is, this project turned out great. I absolutely love it. It's something that's super unique. You don't see it at a lot of homes. And I love that we just have a place to put our barbecue tools and utensils outdoors so we don't have to be running in and out. And we didn't have really a great spot to keep them in our kitchen. So now we have a spot for them. I love that there's paper towel access because I feel like I was always grabbing the paper towels and bringing them outside. And I love that those extra shelves just add another place to store some uh, like salt and pepper and other spices that you want to have handy at the grill. If you guys want to build this too, you can with our free woodworking plans. We have teamed up with Craig Tools and those are available on their website. There is a link down in the video description below, so feel free to head on over there. And then while you're here, we would love it if you would subscribe to our channel. We share weekly DIY and renovating videos and we would love to have you. Also, while you're here, we thought you should check out this video next. I think you'll love it. All right, guys, see you next week.